Hello everyone, it's your favorite combat back to another video, and tonight we're going to be looking at the final member of the Constructicon Maximus team, Steamhammer. But before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you thought of the video, or what would you like to see next. So, as I said, this, previously in the other ones, this is a viewer requested one by Gabriel Chi. So, here, let's look at Steamhammer. You know, overall, not a bad looking minor excavator thing. Thing. So, yeah, I, I could like it. He rolls, you know, decently well. He's a little bit off balance just because you can see the treads aren't even. And that is by design because if you, like, unpeg it, you can see that there's two holes, one peg. Well, you can't plug it, plug it into that one. <laughs> the only other option is the that one right there. If I can now put this back in. So, yeah. Now, the TF Wiki does state that there is a misassembly on both versions of this mold basically these tabs are supposed to be up here that's because when you go in the robot mode it tabs everything together so yeah, i'm probably i didn't know that until i did a little bit of research before i did this video so yay look close up on all that detail get some nice focus silver on the bucket get some nice orange for the cockpit some silver on the for the tread area and a little bit of purple back here so not too much paint but where it is applied is nice now for articulation besides rolling he can do a full 360 his bucket can also rotate right there move up and down at this joint and this joint uh, the bucket itself can move up and down and it can split to dump its load so yeah not too too bad for a real quick size comparisons here we have i'm only going to do two, uh, these versions because it's going to be the exact same thing for the other two members so there you go and backstop in robot mode so yeah overall not a bad looking alt mode so let's see what the robot mode looks like shall we so first of all, you want to unpeg the sides and flip up these panels. They're on very stiff friction ratchet joints. Come on, unpeg. There we go. And then take these uh, gray bits and just kind of get them out of the way a little bit. Take the legs, straighten them out. And you there is one click back you got to go, so just do that one click. Rotate the leg 180. Do the same thing for this side. Rotate 180. Then come down here and flip out to these gray sections to form feet. And there you got the lower half. So go ahead and take this section, wiggle it free, and just kind of, you know, leave, rotate it 180. So, no, like us, sorry. So just kind of leave it like this. Rotate up the chest. Get this out of the way. Rotate up the chest. There is a peg or support and peg that this will go into. You just gotta double, gotta play with the double hinge to get it down in there. There we go. Come on, come on. Yeah, this takes a little bit of doing, but it's possible. Come on, you know you want to steam hammer. That's one thing I'm not particularly caring for on this figure is the fiddle line on that there we go all right so next you want to come to the camera and raise it up <laughs> okay so you want to take the arms and just kind of rotate them back ever so slightly rotate this will do nothing for right now just kind of rotate these back yeah this oh i had this the wrong way rotate that around flip up the head something is not right here but it's not right so that should be up why i don't know why it's not wanting to cooperate right now come on <sighs> okay my bad he actually wanted to peg it back into like alt mode configuration so yeah then just kind of lower these hip flaps down, 
rotate the, this bucket and just orient it however you want. I'm going to rotate it where the uh, rat, that piece is not like that. And just do whatever you want with the cockpit area. Straighten out the arm. And there we go. Just going to mess with that a little bit more. There you have Steam Hammer in his robot mode. Not a bad looking robot mode. Honestly, it's very interesting, especially with this arm. So, yeah. Pretty uh, clean. Oh, yeah. Flip up that panel. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, you can see what I mean by where uh, it says Miss Assembly. Because the, these uh, pegs are actually supposed to go into here, according to TF Wiki. And kind of just clean up the look. Honestly, they say it's supposed to solidify the torso. I think the torso is pretty solidified, honestly. I kind of like the look it gives him with the hip flaps. But, hey, I might just swap them around just to say I swap them around. So, yeah. Now that one doesn't want to come down. Anyways, <laughs> or get the head sculpt. Focus. Not a bad looking head sculpt, honestly. So, yeah. Now, for articulation, the head can't really move just because of all this stuff around. It doesn't slide forward. No, it does not. But the arms can do a full 360, can move in and out, at least on this arm. Double jointed elbow. Yeah, that's stiff on my copy. So we get full range of motion. This arm, it basically the exact same thing for the alt mode, but can go all the way up. Bicep rotation. This one also has bicep. Kind of a, depending on how you have it, either this type of movement or that movement. And, uh, you know, up and down there. He does have waist rotation. Legs can get forward on a nice ratchet that far. He can go back that far. Outward. He can do over the full splits. He's got above the knee rotation. And I guess it should have 90 degrees. 90 degrees of knee bend along with a toe tilt. Or at least just an upward movement. So... Overall, not too bad. And for a real quick size comparison, here we have his uh, team. I know it's only, again, yeah, two of the members, but I mean, it's going to be the exact same height and all that. And Cybertron Backstorm, Backstop, not Backstorm, golly. So, yeah, not too bad in height-wise. Now, in the, the finale of this guy, I will show you the combination into his torso mode. First transformation in the torso. But overall, not a bad figure. Definitely a fun one. Don't have too much negative to say. Other than like uh, this whole double hinge thing is kind of annoying. But mm, once you get used to it, it'll just flow like any other transformation. So, yeah. But that's about it. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and all the other stuff. And I'll see y'all next time for another video review.